And today we have a box of Julie Bell fantasy cards. Ooh. Julie Bell is one of the best, if not the best, comic book artists of all time and from the 90s. She did all of your favorite Marvel masterpieces. Not all of them, but all of your favorites. Okay, her and Morris, of course. Now, this box is for mature audiences, probably. Or aren't they beautiful? I cannot wait to see what is in here. Julie is quite the artist. And this will be the first fantasy card set of all her that I've ever seen. Now if I can just open the pack of cards. There we go. We're into the pack. Oh, oh my word. What is this masterful beauty we have here? Robo Vampire. I really like the idea of a visual contrast. The image presents a gothic ancient vampire as a futuristic cyborg, says Julie Bell. And I, I agree with her. Very Robo la la la. Ooh, what is this here? Well, it's Night of the Killer Max. The inspiration for Night of the Killer Max came from the video game. Strider 2, says Julie. Oh, my word. Very Conan the Barbarian-esque. Ah, very Conan the Barbarian-esque. Dangerous Journey. Julia Bell's mentor is world-renowned artist Boris Vallejo. Oh, isn't that sweet? Dr. Flash. It's not Dr. Fauci. When Baptist Hospital contracted, contact, contacted Julie Bell about producing an illustration for the magazine cover, she decided to get the real thing for her motto. The Battle at Stonehenge. The unique visual perspective of Julie Bell was first seen in the book jacket with this piece, Battle at Stonehenge. Oh, look at the swamp thing looking creepy. Of course, it is called Nightmare Swamp. Julie uses a lot of mixed media of ink, colored pencil, watercolor, color sketches, and a Nightmare Swamp. Ah, a pterodactyl. Prehistoric metal. Interesting, Julie. Ah, fantasy. Demon in the place. Originally commissioned as an illustration for the video game Defenders of the Oasis. I think it's time that we open another pack of cards. <laughs> Let's see here. How? Get this open here. Let's see what is inside there. And then open. Oh, there we go. I just about have it there. Easier said than done, yes. There, alright. Oh, look at that snuggly creature. The young wizard. Like a lot of people, I grew up in a crazy environment. With my own kids, I've always felt their insight and opinions were important. Aww. Cushy, 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 cushy. Sorry, just having a bit of difficulty separating. It seemed like there was another card stuck there. It's just extra thick. Here we have Beauty and the Steel Beast. The fantasy variation on a classic fairy tale introduced the world to Julie Bell's trademark metal flesh. Ooh. Extra sticky, be careful. Ooh. Ah, rescue. Excuse me. Rescue. Julie's two sons, Tony and David, aspire to become comic artists. Well, they are certainly have the right mother for that. Oh, my word. 
Well, that could be Julie herself from the 80s. Space cowgirl, very fitting. As a native of Belmont, Texas, it is only natural that Julie would love the boots and hat. An attitude of a cowgirl. <laughs> ah, a duplicate. Oh, another duplicate. No, where is that? No, well, the thing about duplicates is they are what they are, you know? <laughs> oh. But then, something new. Wait, that's not new. Is it? I can't remember. Alright, sometimes you get duplicates, but aren't those cards truly stunning? I mean, Julie is just an amazing artist. I love her inspiration she gets from her family and people she knows and creates the fantasies of existence and time. Now, thank you for joining me. Until next time. Goodbye.